Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you real quickly how you set up color management in DaVinci Resolve for DJI D-Log. It might sound a little bit advanced and confusing, but trust me, it's a very, very simple operation. And if you get everything set up, like I'll show you here with these two simple notes, then you can rest assured that you are on your right way to having a good start to your color grading process. So just follow my steps and uh, you'll be good to go. So let's start. And uh, in you, I just have a simple timeline with a simple clip here. This is a Mavic 3 Cine shot for a commercial I did last week. This is shot in ProRes and this is shot in D-Log. So the first thing you want to do is go to your project settings. So you can go to File, Project Settings, or you can press Shift 9, or you can go down to your lower right hand corner down here. And in the pop-up, you want to make sure you're in the color management section and you can choose between a color managed and a non color managed workflow. So we're going to set up all this manually and I'm going to explain you why. Um, and then you have a control over everything and you can just forget about timeline and output color space because we're going to override that. So click save. And once you're out of that, you have your non color managed project set up. Now you don't want to grade in Rec 709. So Rec 709 is this small color space down here that your monitor is most likely going to be able to show you. The colored outline here is all the visible colors, but in DaVinci, you have the option to grade in DaVinci White Gamut, which is this massive color space that will give you a lot more data to work with. So you want to work in that and you don't want to work in Rec 709. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the color page and then we're going to create a node. This is just an empty node. And here we want to put in the input color space or the color space transformation. So you go to your effects tab under resolve FX color, you find color space transform and you can drag that on. So now what we want to do is we want to tell DaVinci, listen, this footage is D log, so I'm going to press D and jump down to D gamut, and this is shot in D log, so I'm going to press D and D log. And I want to work in the large color space, DaVinci white gamut, DaVinci intermediate. So now we transformed everything from D log into DaVinci intermediate and DaVinci white gamut. But in order to see our result, we're going to create another node here at the end of our node tree, and we're going to transform that from DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate, which we just set up. And then our monitor and Euro monitor is most likely showing Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So we choose that. And now if I turn off effects, if I turn these two nodes on and off, we have normalized it and you're ready to grade. So everything here is from log into DaVinci and here you're grading in DaVinci Wide Gamut. And everything out from here in the end is Rec. 709. So you want to do your grade in between these two nodes. So now you can just create your grades and you can do your exposure, your contrast, your balance or whatever you have. And you can see just from these two simple steps, you have a correct color managed project and you're probably 80, 90% there already. So now you can just apply your look and do whatever you want to image and you can rest assured you're in a solid pipeline. So I hope you liked this. If you did, please consider subscribing. Giving us a thumbs up really helps us get out there and make more videos like this and uh, happy grading.